Hi, my name is Steve. I live in Hampshire. This is my 1973 Emerald Green Stag with a chassis number starting from LD226. I bought it in December 2020. It's a, it's a understand known as a Mark 1.5. I wanted a car to work on during lockdown. Looked into a TR6, but after having hired one, it had no power steering and with poor brakes, so and it was reputedly worth 25k. So I looked into a stag as I really like V8 engines, haven't owned a few in the past. I've built two cars from scratch a Nick Green NDTD based on an MGB and a Ram Cobra with a new Ford SVO F5.8 engine leader in the 1990s. This stag came with electronic ignition, a stainless exhaust system and a Kenlo fan. Expense, extensive bodywork has been done in the past. The engine had been completely rebuilt a year before I bought it by a stag specialist, Tim Collins in Middleton-on-Sea, Sussex. They also fitted at the same time a new power steering rack. Since then, I've done spent hours um, improving the car in many ways which I will, will go be going through. When I bought the car the chrome was generally very good but I have changed all the, well, the horseshoes on each corner. Two I've had re-chromed and two I've bought good second-hand ones. The only other major chrome I had to do was on the near rear side quarter which I bought second hand and it's quite good one of the, things, the first things I noticed was that the uh, temperature gauge the capillary tube which went into the cylinder head was slightly leaking so I bought an extender tube which is freely available and was able to completely reseal it hopefully no problems ever since the next job was, I wasn't very impressed by the temperature gauge, so I fitted a modern digital temperature gauge. As you can see here, there's a sensor which monitors the temperature, temperature leaving the engine into the radiator, and in normal cruising, it's about 80 degrees. The temperature gauge is near the steering wheel, which is underneath, which I will show next. This is the temperature gauge, which is discreetly hidden under the dash dashboard, which I can turn off at any time. So I can actually monitor quite confidently what was going on temperature-wise with the engine. One of the next things I wanted to fit was to replace the existing header tank radiator, which was very low down and a very poor design, and unable to monitor what's exactly going on. So I went to Stag Weber, who have this excellent aluminium tank and if the level drops to a certain level, an alarm goes off. One of the things I wanted to do was fit an isolator switch on the battery as the car is in the garage most of the time. So I fitted this isolator switch, which does the job very well. This is with the hood down now. It's quite a complex hood and there are issues with the hood. I did buy from Stag Weather the later clips, which has helped considerably. And I had to adjust part of the hood as the tonneau cover wouldn't latch down on one side, on the off side. But being able to adjust it, touch wood, it seems to have done that job. Moving on to the interior, I fitted a completely new walnut veneer dashboard system which I find personally very smart a new motor litre 14 inch steering wheel with my interpretation of a stag's head on the boss which is actually 3D one of the other issues I had inside here was that the cigarette lighter wouldn't take modern push in 12 volt connectors 
so I changed that out and it's now looks original but it actually uh, is fun fully functioning now I have spent many hours working on the minor rust areas which now I believe are fully treated and next summer I hope to do a lower full body a lower half body respray one of the other issues which I picked up from again from someone at the Stag Owners Club was the air intake to the radiator I have fitted baffles either side inside of the radiator in the front so hopefully this will give a better cooling effect on a final note I thought I'd show the engine running and how good I feel it, it sounds push the choke in too early hence why it's stopped so you do need the choke for a little while just while it warms up that's it for now